Hi everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome to my era, not yours. Well, I was kind born. Of. You were born, yeah, but you were only little. I was always this size. Honestly, I probably was. Our poor mother. Yeah, exactly. Uh, welcome to the 1970s. Favourite song? 1970s? No? You're no, little. Top of probably Bar Bar Black Sheep. <laughs> uh, so sorry for somebody that's just five years older. I know. I feel older. A lot older at times. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I you should that. You I feel pretty rough. But, okay. You know. So we are going to do retro. Retro Christmas. I know. <laughs> We're going to do a bird's trifle. We're doing a bird's trifle because we're talking about Christmas. And one of the things that we were discussing yeah. as a family was what puddings are we going to have for after Christmas dinner? Because sure. we don't really do the Christmas pudding no. after Christmas Very big, dinner. very heavy. And, um, and after yeah, you've stuffed difficult. your face, you really don't want something that yeah. heavy? Although I admit, in the 70s, my mum and dad would have had a Christmas proper Christmas pudding. Right. Because my nan used to have a maid who used to right. make them for us. But... So we're going. We're going bird's trifle. So we no, we're not. So we decided that we would make a trifle, a, a decent trifle, and we even bought, as a you would have seen on one of the dish. other videos, a proper trifle dish. However, however, because back in our days, if you had a trifle, it would have been one of these. It pretty much would have been one of them. Yeah, unless Fanny Craddock did something fancy on the telly and you got a bit carried away, it'd be pretty much this. We thought we'd give it a go because you could still buy these. Yeah, I know. We actually found them. I don't think they've got the same colourings anymore. Um, I'm pretty sure possibly. they used to be proper hundreds of thousands and not yeah, real kind of chocolatey vermicelli. But hey. You know. um, but they have updated this. Oh, I know. It's hilarious. You, you, can, you can use all different sorts of milk. You can I'm, use skimmed. Yeah, you can go on. You can you use skimmed. You can use semi-skimmed. Yep. You can use whole. Which, which would yeah. have been what you would have used yeah, back then anyway. Been, yeah. You would have had ordinary blue top milk. Yeah, what it would be, yeah. Um, but now apparently you can use coconut or almond milk to make your perfect Who trifle. Knew? Yeah, and the milk would probably be delivered by milkman. Absolutely, in a bowl, in as a it bowl. should be. Yeah. Always tastes better out of a bowl. So anyway, we're going to make... Ask any blue tip for that, I'll tell you. Right. We are going to make this ridiculous trifle. <laughs> yeah, we are. Um, because, because we've got that huge bowl, we've doubled it up. Yeah, so, so we've, we've got, got two, two of these, okay? <laughs> Um, oh, it's going to be a laugh. Come on, let's just do it. Yeah? I'm not so you're going to eat it afterwards. Well, that's the problem. Because yeah. these bad boys are <laughs> something disgusting, else. Disgusting, aren't they? Right. Okay. They're, they're or boudoir, boudoir biscuits, I right. believe, or something like that when I was growing up. But um, so, sponge fingers, yeah? In the kit, you get a Jenny strawberry jenny crystal yeah, packet. You, do. you can also buy this in a raspberry flavour, but you, we've gone you for can. strawberry. Yeah, we've gone for fancy ones, yeah. Um, bird's trifle or bird's custard powder. Yeah, normally get, get that in a normally tub. get in a proper tub too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's for those people who make proper custard and don't open the tin of ambrosia like me. Yeah, like you do. I love doing proper custard. And then no fresh cream here, guys. No, I don't no. Know. Dream, dream topping. Top oh my god, I, I love dream love topping. Dream oh. topping. That used we've actually lush. found out you can still buy it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I think actually saw your weight the other day. That's a bit ridiculous, but, isn't it? Will it taste the same as no, the thing? Of course it won't. So we'll we're see. talking many years ago, my love. And, and then love. obviously, like we said, there used to be hundreds and thousands. Hundreds and thousands of them, right? And now they've got chocolate bits. Do you yeah, know why? Less, co less colouring? It's not the colouring. No, go on. If you remember, when you put the hundreds and thousands on, the colouring bled into the dream Oh, yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, it's very really pretty. Well, chocolate won't. No, it's not. Because it's chocolate. Yeah, so okay. So that's... Uh, but that's and a, you obviously get... Well, in one get pack, you get four. Four of these things. Four. <laughs> I hope they swell up. There's no they chance do, in that box. But that's the whole thing. Yeah. Right. Now, you've break one now. What well, I got break? Probably. They'll be fine. Right. Anyway, let's get going. So the first thing it says Reading is make jelly and leave to cool for 10 minutes. Oh, I will say one of these packets is supposed to serve six people. Six yeah. portions. You reckon you can have 12 out of this, do we? Yeah, right. We were obviously a lot smaller than those days. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to make the jelly. Okay. Now so the thing about the box is it gives you basic instructions and on each packet it tells you what to actually do. So I need to dissolve the sachet contents in three quarters of a pint of water. Yep. Cool it for 10 minutes before pour pouring over Broken, pieces. broken sponge pieces. And then, don't break them though. Because the more you break them, the more they'll be everywhere and okay. they're horrible. Fine. You have to try and oh. navigate around them. So let me get, where's my bowl? There's get my bowl. bowl. Right. I need, what did I need? 400 and, 425, so 850 mills of oil and water. Yeah, we have to we have to talk in new money for that, don't we? 
So open these, yeah? Yeah, pour the jelly crystals in the bowl. Jelly crystals. I'm not sure I'd have jelly. Oh, look, they just like powder. Jelly crystals. I just remember the big cubes of jelly. You need half them before you actually put it in. Yeah, the well, the thing with the crystals, you get a lot of crystals nowadays because most no added sugar jellies are yeah. crystals. What's that about? Not that I'm saying that this is no added sugar mound. But oh, it smells quite sweet. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It smells like. It smells like popping candy. Yeah, it smells like popping candy. It pretty much is, I guess. It's sugar and uh, starch. There we go. Pop right. that in a bin. Stage two. 850 mils of water. Yeah, um, I was just saying to Kelly, did you, well, if you bake trifles, do you use the correct amount of water or do you use less water and double up the amount of jelly? Because I used to because it was never, never really strong enough flavor wise. I don't seriously think this is gonna be very strong flavour wise at all, do you? I we shall see. Know. We'll have to wait and no, see. We'll have to wait and see. It could be a whole revelation. But no, I never ever doubled up my jelly and didn't put so much water in. Never I, did. I probably that. had to double up the jelly because I ate half the jelly before I actually put oh, it in the that's water. Probably an idea. Oh, it's so good. Cubes of jelly, come on. So, we're going to dissolve this and then wait 10 minutes, is that right? That's it. Because okay. we can't pour this hot liquid into our new posh china. True. It does say that whilst you're doing that, you can create the custard because they've both got to cool down anyway in the end. Right, let's just do one thing but at a time. We'll do one thing at a time because it is complicated, you know. Well, we won't want to complicate and confuse people and then end up with like bits and pieces. Confu all over confuse the place. people, yeah. I thought women come up with that. Well, I don't feel very well, all right? They, and they, I've been cooking all day now, so. Yeah, this, this is our fourth recipe of the day. Uh, they could multitask in the 70s, you know. Could they? Yeah. Where was that then? Ironing, getting the dinner ready and everything. All in the same All in the same thing, yeah. yeah. Doing a part-time job, looking after the kids. Mm. Yeah, putting the laundry out. They don't build them like they used to. They don't build them like they used to, that's true. Right, so the jelly is dissolved. Okay, put it to one side. We shall put that. Shall we put it by the window? Oh, yeah, put it by the window. Put the window open. That's what we used to have to do, wasn't it? Cool the jelly down a bit more. I can't really. I've got so many herbs in the windowsill. Yeah, that's something you don't do in the 70s either. Put <coughs> herbs in the windowsill. We didn't even hear of herbs then. No. What True. was herbs? Well, the only time you got olive oil was you got it from boots to Is put in your ears. Tiny little one. Yeah. Right, let that cool. Right. For 10 minutes. So, okay. in the meantime, while that's doing that, you're going to break up your biscuits. Right? I'm not going to break them, I'm putting oh, them in all. Because Kelly doesn't like them, so hopefully she can pick them out. Well, the, but the problem is, is that as soon as you put the jelly them. on, they swell. And then you get like this grainy sort of jelly stuff. Which no, is I'm random. not very good at opening plastic packets. Give it to me. I'll give it to you, love. <laughs> I, I do actually own packets quite well, but I do have a tendency to just destroy packaging. It's so much easier, isn't it? I still think this is going to get lost in this bowl, but that's why we double it up. Maybe we should have quadrupled it. No. Oh, okay. I'm sure if you're being very pretty, you've broken them up and put them all around the outside edge. Like that. But yeah. the thing is, we don't know how deep the gel is going to be, so we can't really do that. We'll just bung them in. They'll be fine. More than that many cookie programs in seven is. Right. So there's that bit. Yep. So custard wise. Yep, whilst we're waiting for the uh, jelly to cool down for 10 minutes. You can do the custard on the hob or you can do it in the microwave. Wow. We're no, gonna hob. do it on the hob. Of course we are. So we need to mix the sachet of powder yep. with two tablespoons of sugar. Yep. 35 grams, two tablespoons. Right. Doesn't say what sugar, just says sugar. But you want a big saucepan for this or a small saucepan? No, because we've got two lots I'm gonna put, because okay. we need to put in, again, another 850 gram uh, mils of milk. Okay. Put it in, yeah. Now, I am getting, hopefully in January, when it comes out again, a fantastic Chinese cookery book um, from some lovely people that I know. Um, and one of their recipes, or some of their recipes, is lemon chicken. Yeah. And do you know what you coat it with lemon chicken? Custard powder. Really? Yeah, you coat it with custard powder. It's amazing. Honestly. I love lemon chicken. That's one of my favourites and in the Chinese. It's basically coated with custard powder. Because this, let's be honest, is cornstarch and sugar. 
Right. We'll do that in January. January, February, we'll do some Chinese. So, excuse me. I get some sugar. So, we need, what is it, a tablespoon? Mix the contents of the sachet with two tablespoons of sugar in a saucepan. So we need four, four. tablespoons. Yep. Nothing low calorie here, I'm telling you. No, proper old fashioned sugar, normal granulated, doesn't say anything about fancy sugars. Right. Four. Four. Yep. Also got a school dinners recipe book. Yes, we have. And I think this will be, this will be in it somewhere. Now what? Right, um, add three quarters of a pint of cold milk, add a little milk to the pan and then stir until smooth and then add the remainder. So we're talking right. about a pint so and a half. We need 850 mils, I think. Yes, yeah, so a pint and a half in old money then. Yeah, Yeah. but I'm not in old money. I'm You're in, in the mils. 70s. And so it's, what is it? Is it 850? 850 mils. Yeah. Don't pull faces at me. I'm not, I'm putting it in the camera. Might be about you. We can survive till Christmas Are doing you all, these, brave? all these recipes. You seem to be feeling quite brave today. I know, I've not even made a cocktail yet. I'm brave because I made a chocolate torta and I think it's going to come out all right. Right. So I now need to get this I'm on the hop. With a whisk. Oh, go with a whisk. I'm going in with a whisk. Oh. I think we're going to add the cover. Some people would have said wooden spoon, but you know. With, we find. So, pop a little bit of milk in it, make a little paste. Yeah, I know how to make custard. Good. She says she knows how to make custard. If she knows how to make custard, why do we not do it? Why does it always have to be a tin of ambrosia? I like ambrosia. Well, I think in the old, well, is it ambrosia? Yeah, it would be dead and custard, wouldn't it? Ambrosia. Yes, so. Surely in the old days, ambrosia was just rice pudding, wasn't it? Probably you ever called custard. Macaroni. Macaroni. Tapioca. I bet you can't get tapioca yeah, anymore. Yeah, you can. Oh, I love tapioca. Right, so you're just um, I'm whipping just, up a little bit of uh, I'm just making paste. Sort of paste yeah. Well, I have to think about a whisk, though. It doesn't get in the corner, does it? It'll there ain't fine. no corners. There ain't no corners, no. It doesn't get in the rounded edge corners. Right. Okay, pour the rest of your milk in. yellow orange custard right so right. stir until smooth then add the remainder heat stirring continuously until gently boiling remove from the heat and slowly add a further quarter of a pint of milk okay while stirring vigorously and then oh my god so you've got to add even more milk i know it's like exercise this is honestly so that's another 280 mils of milk okay um, by the way, you should be vigorously stirring this right now. It's custard. Yeah, I remember the workouts you've got to do this in custard. Plainly that's one reason why lots of don't do it anymore. We'll come back. Stay with. There we go. Right, so after what feels like an age, but probably isn't, um, custard just suddenly happened. Yeah, and it's boiling. So, and it's boiling, so. We now take it off, is it, take it off the heat now, John? Yeah, I think so, take it off the heat, put it on the table, and Where add your final bit of milk. Is that what it said? I was throwing away the wrappers now. Right, that's what it said. <laughs> that's throwing away the wrappers now, love. Um, so we think the reason why you add the extra half a pint of milk is it stops the skin forming and also cools it down a little bit quicker. Which is such a shame, because let's be honest, the best bit about custard is the skin. Ask anyone that like mind or anyone that used to be a dinner monitor. Can we supply for the skin? I used to love the monitor. I used to love it. Why don't you with that afterwards? Get the biggest portions if you wanted them. Steal it off the small children. Make sure they all let their greens. Right, there you right. go. There you go. So, so the custard now needs to set. Yep, yeah, and we got to wait for the jelly to cool now. Nothing else we can do. Right then, love, what are we doing? I reckon it's been cooling about 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. It's still warm, but it is starting to set around the edges, so I'm going to go ahead and pour okay. it into the trifle I dish. think the idea is it's cool enough to be able to put into like a glass bowl without cracking the bowl, but it needs to be a little bit warm, otherwise it doesn't really get into the fingers very well, does it? Oh, that's what I remember, they float as well. I was going to say impregnate them, but it probably means something different. 
I know. Right. Yes, you can't exactly push them in, love. Lovely. So now all we have to do is wait, I guess. Did it say that we can put that in the fridge now? Yeah, that goes in the fridge now, I remember rightly. Fridge for 30 to 40 minutes. There you and go. then by then, hopefully, the custard, custard will be, be cool set enough to, yep. to spread over the top. There you go. So, fridge. Put it in the fridge then. Thank you. You're welcome. See you in a while. Right then, darling, it's a very windy day outside. We've got the yeah, window I'll open. Shut the window line. That might stop some of the noise. We've also got, um, we're testing out some a new way of doing roast potatoes, which we'll be doing a video if they work very well. Yeah. So the oven's on. Yes. Okay. But for now, jelly. Jelly. Cool enough. Cool enough. With the, yeah, floating sponge fingers, what can I say? But the jelly in this, that is basically more or less set. Yeah. So, custard. here goes the custard. With no skin. That's no. so disappointing. No skin. I seriously think that's what it was for. It's also quite runny. That's what I was saying to you about, do, I re do you reckon it's going to set? Extra milk. I have, we have no idea. We're ready to do what we're told. Get it on, love. I'm sure it'll, um, it's still quite warm, actually, that. Are you sure it's worth putting that on there, the amount of steam coming off that custard? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you gotta love it, haven't you? It'll be fine. I remember right in the old days, there was always a kind of layer when it was kind of a bit of custard and a bit of jelly in it. I've been very genteel with that now, haven't you? I don't want to pour it in one place and then make a dent in the jelly. There is you a know, method to my madness. Dent, dented jelly is definitely serious, serious issue, I think. Right, so that's the next stage. There are others. Back into the fridge now. Back into the fridge because then we can do the dream topping later. Hi everybody. Yes, I am in the kitchen by myself. We left the burrs trifle overnight because the custard simply wasn't setting properly. Well, not setting solidly, um, but it's looking good now. Unfortunately, Kelly's a bit under the weather right now. Um, she's struggling with fatigue. She worked really hard yesterday and obviously that caused a problem with a fibromyalgia, so she's having a rest day at the moment. So I'm taking over for a little while. I'm going to do the dream topping. Oh yeah, dream topping. People of a certain age will understand dream topping. Don't do proper cream in a brewer's trifle, do we? So according to this, it's uh, four ounces or 110 millilitres of cold milk into a small bowl, sprinkle the sachet in, whisk it up. We're doubling up, so we're going to do that. Um, You don't really just see me whisking, can we be doing it by hand because our electric mixer um, is just too big to deal with a little bit like this. And uh, our small hand mixer is up in the loft, I believe. We haven't used it for a while. When you get, when you buy yourself a big kitchen egg, you don't tend to bother with a little hand whisk anymore. Maybe we'll have to get that down again. So uh, all we do is we put the uh, stuff that looks remarkably like custard powder again, but not, oh, it's just lovely. Who needs proper quality? stuff when you can have dream top in eh? Probably less additives than you used to have. And um, although the, the birds trifle is looking quite colourful, probably a few less fake colourings as well. But that's it for now. I'm going to get rid of this lot. Oh, better not leave that in there, had we? Um, and I'm going to do some whisking. Well, they say uh, it's better to use an electric whisk, but hey, I can do this for a while. Um, come back, see you in a minute, or two, or ten. Lovely whisking action, I notice. Right, there we go. That is dream topping. Not exactly cream, not exactly custard, but... Still lovely though. Right, I probably need more of that jump. Right, we're gonna put that onto that. Pretty much done.
Look at that. Cheap and tacky goodness. What's not to love? Well, you know, spread it out a bit. Hopefully we've got enough. Should have. I only licked a little bit of the whisk. I didn't eat much of it. And um, we'll tidy it up and put some sprinkles on. Hopefully we'll be about done. I'll be told this is not even enough for her, but hey. When you're not well, you have to make do with the home, the home help. And the kitchen aid. The kitchen aid. I should have got the kitchen aid out. That look pretty good. A bit more on there. You don't want to waste any, do? Because it is just too nice rubbish, really. Lovely. Make a few little peaks if you wish. Make it pretty. Doesn't need to be. Should we find some sprinkles? Let's find some sprinkles. <gasps> sprinkles. Yeah, I'm sure, now correct me if I'm wrong, but I have a funny feeling that it used to be hundreds and thousands, definitely, and maybe even little sugary balls. Remember silver balls? But hey, maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's out of my time. Come on. Oh, come on, Tom. We need two. Yeah, you probably do. You just want me to see this go flying in the air, don't you? I do that. It's not going to happen. Not on, not on my watch. All right. There you go. Look good to me. Quick fix around the edge there. No cut through showing. That is the 1970s. Stroke 1980s retro bird trifle. Hello. All right. You all right, darling? You feeling a bit better now? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Exhausted you've been actually. So sometimes, probably with fibro, fibromyalgia, is you just need to have a rest for a while. Otherwise your head spins, you don't feel very well. That was fun insane for today, getting you in, but that's okay, we've done it. Um, welcome to my trifle. Yes, your Well, trifle. this bit is mine, yeah. The bird's trifle, the bird's. <laughs> Topping. The dream topping. Dream topping. And what a dream it was. It I was very that. nice. You did. Um, I'm sure that you might watch a video later, but um, everyone else who's watched will know. I did a very good job. Okay. It looks pretty cool. It looks like what it should do. Um, welcome to the 1970s. They always were a bit stingy on that. One, yeah, they're always a bit stingy on the dream topping. I don't understand why. But I suppose birds are a custard company, aren't they, really? So it's going to be mainly custard. I suppose so. Yeah. Still got the... Uh, Looks like it did on the packet. Yeah, looks like uh, probably not a strawberry. No. But let's be honest, strawberries aren't really in season right now. No. And fancy a, I'm not buying a pudding, a taste of strawberry. Taste of strawberry, let's stick one on top of that. So, dig in. We need to find out what this is like. Do you know, we're actually christening our trifle bowl as well. It is Make sure you get a bit of custard and a bit of jelly and a bit of sponge. Don't try and avoid the sponge, I know what you like. Oh, it's always the same number Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, it collapses. <laughs> Lovely. I have to say, that actually looks like what it's supposed to. Trifle's always messy. Very fun. That. Yeah, but that's part of the fun, isn't it? Trifle's always messy. So ideally, no, 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 you don't do that with a trifle. I could do what you I want with like a trifle. You don't like put it into little compartments or... Jelly is strawberry, strong. Good. You're not a fusion food eater, are you? Custards. Is like bird's custard. Pretty tasteless. Yeah, there's not enough sugar in their custard nowadays. The dream topping will make it. Even dream topping's not as sweet as I remember it. It's well it's not, because they they obviously mm. cut you know, health conscious nowadays. I'm sure the seventies and eighties weren't that bad health wise, but they seem to have changed. Actually, even those sponge fingers aren't as bad as I remembered them. Well, that's 
Maybe you've changed. I'm going for a whole bunch of stuff. That's what you've got to do with trifle. That's why you have to spoon. Don't speak with your mouth full. It don't stay on my very long. It's down the throat quite quickly. That's actually really nice. It's not bad. The kids will like it. The kids will like it because it's got no fruit in it. No. It's got nothing healthy in it. No. Um, it's pretty. It's all right, actually. It's not bad. All right, we've had to buy two of them. So they probably, and with the milk, probably cost about fiver, I suppose, with the milk in it and all that. There's actually a lot more milk than I remember. Yeah. Nice, though. Not bad. Certainly, um, I mean, we got two because we knew Darren would Yeah, because of the size of the thing. So the we have to buy two. But if you made like a normal one, yeah, yeah. I'd say, I mean, I reckon it'll serve six. It wouldn't serve six, but it would be enough for a family of four. four. Yeah, definitely a family of four. But then saying that, I'm talking about our family of four, which is like two 17-year-olds. Well, me, so. me and two after teenagers. Yeah, and, yeah so that's, okay. that's basically four adults. So I guess mm. like if you had little diddy ones, it probably would serve six. I will say... I am very disappointed in custard. It's no taste bird's custard is always been good. But that's just that's bland. Sorry, Jesus. birds, but that's bland. You put a lot more sugar in that to make it proper. But dream toppings Or even some vanilla. Or some vanilla. Yeah, some vanilla would be good. Um up with a little bit of vanilla Ex extract. extract. Yeah. Because it's got no it's got the no jelly's vanilla right. in that. Yeah, the, the jelly's jelly, right. it's got a taste. To get to a it. Sponge, you know, a sponge the that. sponge ain't too bad actually. Apparently, my lady hated the spongy bits. Very good, actually. Don't really notice the sponge too much. No. Dream topping is still pretty good. Cottage a bit. I think the texture of the dream topping is, okay. is nice. Hmm. Like dream topping is. It's very smooth. I made a, a big thing about we didn't need to get the big kitchen aid or anything because we just did it by hand. I must admit, I didn't put it on camera, but I was working this custard, this dream time for a while, thinking nothing's happening. Nothing's happening, it's still a bit runny, I'm going to get the electric, it and suddenly it went wham. Yeah. yeah. And it was done. That isn't bad. Not a problem, really. I would say, put a bit more sugar in the custard, a bit of vanilla in it to oomph it up a bit, maybe. Give it a bit of a taste, and then um, you'll be grand. Would it be on your Christmas dinner table? Well, I don't know, family. But do you know yeah, what? Why not? It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Like I said, my kids would love it. Yeah, it's it's just a nice, normal, simple strawberry jelly trifle. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely what it should be. Jelly custard cream, little bit of stuff on the top. If you want to fancy it up, put some mandarins or peaches in the bottom of it, or somewhere from tin fruit, yeah. the old tin fruit stuff, mixed fruit cocktail. Yeah. Um, what's wrong? Nothing wrong with that at all. No, bird's ca uh, custard is poor, but apart from that, bird's trifle is okay. pretty good. I thought better. I was expecting it to be. I thought it'd be hilarious, but actually, that's pretty edible. So um, we will be doing some fancier ones. Yes, we've got will. one or two ideas for a fancy trifle. What we don't, you buy a trifle dish, you've got to use it. Absolutely. Otherwise, what's the point? Um, but for now, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Do all those things. Come and join me on Big Ollie Golf and Kelly and I on Big Ollie World. And keep watching the uh, the Christmas run in, yeah. Christmas run up, run in, advent calendar. Build up. Build up. That's the one. Certainly building up in this age right now. Um, not bad. No. Very good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye.